I can't. I can't stop eating these. Zucchini chips. Best thing ever. What's up, everybody? Nick Ortigo here, and I'm here to tell you about a little thing that I recently discovered um, doing the Whole30 diet with my wife. Really, the first time it was like Whole14 for me. I gave it a shot. I don't really have a sweet tooth. I really have more of a salt tooth. So the way a lot of people feel about like ice cream or, or brownies or cookies, that's the way I feel about like a bag of chips. Um, so I've been trying to find a replacement, a vessel, if you will, to scoop up things like guacamole and salsa and corn chips are kind of out, off the table. So I've come up with a uh, zucchini chip. Why don't you, um, I'm gonna put that a little close there. Can you see that? That is a zucchini chip if we can get a good focus on it. And it is actually a dehydrated piece of zucchini. It's super easy to do and it makes a very nice salty, the way we were gonna prepare these, makes a nice little salty vessel for things like um, guacamole or salsa. So I'm still staying within the parameters of the Whole30 diet, but uh, I have something that is healthy that can kind of get that salsa into my mouth. So uh, to the kitchen we go. Now when doing zucchini chips, it's pretty simple. All it really comes down to is having a window of time. Most of that comes from using the dehydrator. The prep process up front is super simple and you only need a few items. Of course, we're gonna start with a knife and you're gonna need some zucchinis. Uh, I've got three here, you could do one. Uh, I like a zucchini that's a little wider though because I'm making chips. I want a little bit of a scooping ability with those zucchinis. And then of course you're gonna need some salt, pepper, olive oil, in a bowl. I suppose you could go a little crazier with the seasoning, but when I'm saying dipping these zucchinis in salsa or guacamole, I just like to keep it pretty simple with just salt and pepper. I know what you're thinking. Can I really get away with seasoning just one side of these? And I really think you can. I've done it both ways where I've actually taken the time to flip each one over and season the other side. It's a little hard to just kind of do it in a bowl. Um, it takes a lot of time and it doesn't add a whole lot of flavor. I mean, these things get pretty thin uh, and pretty crispy and I really feel like one side of seasoning is enough. Next step, you're gonna wanna put the top on. And uh, anytime you're dehydrating vegetables, you probably want to dehydrate the vegetables around 135 degrees. As for time, well, it kind of varies, but you want to keep an eye on it, but we're talking several hours, like 10 to 12 hours. So it's uh, easy as that. I have a full bowl of uh, zucchini chips now, and um, you can eat them by themselves. Uh, you can throw them in a plastic bag. They last a good amount of time. Uh, I've never really hold it, held on to them for longer than a few weeks because I eat them so fast, but I mean, they're dehydrated. Uh, you do have the, a little bit of olive oil on them, so that's gonna shorten the shelf life for them, not being refrigerated and just having some moisture on them, but it's that olive oil that makes the seasoning stick, so it really is a necessity in my opinion if you're gonna dehydrate little pieces of zucchini. Um, another little pro tip is, um, as you kind of get towards the end, we dehydrated these for about 11 hours. As you get towards the end, they'll still kind of seem like they'll bend a little bit when they're warm. After about 10 to 12 hours, go ahead and just unplug that dehydrator and let them sit for a little bit and you'll find they get crispy. I mean, this is a, this is a crispy, can you hear that? That's a crispy zucchini chip right there. If I miss something um, while making these and you have some questions, put them in the comments below. I'd love to talk to you. And uh, maybe there's some other things we can dehydrate uh, going forward. 